Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. A few weeks ago, uh, or maybe a month or two ago, uh, I made a video about YouTube saying, should I stay or should I go? Because I was basically saying I was a little bit bored uh, with YouTube, and maybe, you know, I was bored with my own videos, and maybe I'm bored with my own videos. Anyway, many of you made some very nice comments, so I, I decided to stay and make some more videos. But I thought what I'd do today is one of the YouTube channels that I enjoy watching. Because if I'm honest, and let's face it, if you're on YouTube, you've got to be honest. A lot of the people that I used to watch, I've, I've kind of got a bit bored with. And um, if you're thinking, well, we understand that, Julian, because we got pretty bored with you, and we still are, well, you know, I'm not saying I'm the only one. Um, producing regular content is difficult. Producing regular interesting uh, consistently interesting, uh, enjoyable content is very difficult and it's not surprising that uh, uh, I'm not the only YouTuber who occasionally struggles with that particular thing. The only thing I'd say in my defence is that I don't actually try and do that. If I feel like making a video, I do. If I don't feel like making a video, I don't, which is why sometimes you get two videos in a day and sometimes you don't get anything for weeks. And some of you might say we prefer the latter, but there are some of you who would say, you prefer the former, so it pays your money and you takes your choice, although it doesn't cost you anything to go on YouTube except to watch the adverts, of course, which sometimes you have to sit through, but that's how we make our money, which, incidentally, my channel is to charity, as I'm sure you know. So anyway, let's stop rabbiting on and let's start to have a look at some of the YouTube channels that I quite enjoy watching. So let's get over to the computer and see what we can find. So the first YouTube channel I'm going to mention is Henry Wildberry's Two Wheeled World and Miss Cools. Now Henry Wildberry, um, which I have a feeling is not his real name, but if it is your real name, Henry Wildberry, I think it's a great name. And if it's a made up name, I think it's a great name too. Anyway, Henry has this kind of wild, kind of laid back, uh, uh, Sonoma County. That, that isn't anything like Henry Wildberry's voice. But anyway, he lives in California, beautiful part of the world. Uh, he's got an old camper man, he's got an old dog, he's got an old partner, sorry, not an old partner, he's got a partner called Miss Calls. And he loves his gravel bikes, he loves his rim brakes, he loves his uh, steel bikes, he loves old fashioned bikes, and he loves all things cycling. And I really enjoy Henry's videos. And if you haven't checked him out, I say check him out. And one of the reasons I'm saying nice things about Henry Wildberry is occasionally he said nice things about me and even bought uh, a t-shirt from my uh, YouTube channel, although he did subsequently complain and said it was rubbish, but that's a separate subject. So Henry Wildberry's Two Wheeled World is my first YouTube channel of choice. Check him out. Number two on my list is Stu's Hikes and Rides. Now, you might say I'm a little bit biased because I've met Stu, uh, and in fact, we're going for a ride together, and I swapped his Bompton uh, for my Bompton. But that's not the reason. I really enjoy Stu's channel. He doesn't make a lot of videos, but they're always interesting. They're done in his own inimitable style, and there's always something in it worth watching. And he's not constantly playing to the audience. He's not constantly trying to uh, entertain people. He's doing something for his own enjoyment, if that uh, matches other people's enjoyment, and it certainly matches mine then his is the kind of YouTube channel that I think is worth following. So Stu's Hikes and Rides is number two on my list. Number three on my list is Sophie and Lady Bompton. Now, some of you will know that I recently had a Bompton. Well, you will know because you know from what I said previously that I swapped it with Stu's Bompton. But anyway, when I had my Bompton, when I had my Bompton, rather, I was watching videos about Bomptons and I came across Sophie and Lady Bompton and she has produced a couple of wonderful, not many, but that's just a few uh, wonderful videos. One of which is a series of three, I think, or maybe even four, where she cycled through France on her Bompton. She has a wonderful style and she has an Irish accent, which is to die for. So if you're interested in Bomptons and you're interested in, well, people riding Bromptons and making videos about them, then I can highly recommend Sophie and Lady Brompton. And again, you might say I'm biased because she said a couple of nice things about some of my videos, but that is not the reason. So Sophie and Lady Brompton, check her out. 
Now number four is Dustin Klein, and you're probably familiar with Dustin Klein because he has 66,000 subscribers, he's a very popular YouTuber, and he produces some brilliant videos, mostly set in uh, uh, Portland and in Oregon on the west coast of the USA, which is where he lives, north of Henry Wildberry, uh, mostly gravel cycling, not always, and he is an incredibly skillful YouTuber. He can do things with camera angles and uh, the mixture of sound and visuals and so forth that I can only dream of. If I have one criticism, Dustin, and I'm sure he's not really interested in my criticisms, but I'm going to make it anyway. And I, now that I've watched quite a number of Dustin's videos, they are all the same style. Now, it's a style that I really like, although it's a style that I'm beginning to a little bit tire of. So there you are. Anyway, if you're not familiar with Dustin Klein, Check out his videos, he produces some wonderful content. The next one on my list is Always Another Adventure. A uh, guy, I think his name is yeah, Simon Willis. Uh, he's in Scotland and he makes videos about, well, cycling, usually gravel cycling, not exclusively gravel cycling. Uh, a lot of stuff about um, uh, kit, uh, some of which he is provided with, although he's very honest about that. And he gives good, sensible, honest opinions about stuff. And his videos are generally succinct and they're well worth watching. He does occasionally overproduce the old content, but then why shouldn't he? Uh, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but if you do want to watch it, there it is. Always another adventure, Simon Willis, another one of Julian's recommended YouTube channels. The next one I'm going to recommend is Aline Goes Cycling. Now, I'm not quite sure when or how I came across Aline. She is a uh, German lady who likes riding her bike. Uh, Generally a kind of gravel endurance ride around sort of Switzerland and uh, Germany and the Baltic coast and so on and so forth. And she produces a very kind of, what's the word, it's very gentle content. You know, it, she doesn't, she doesn't go in for my, you know, mad sarcasm, my, you know, excessive taking the piss out of Brexit and the, the current UK government. She just makes pleasant, gentle, enjoyable travel loggy type videos and she's doing them for her enjoyment which is always the best thing and she's doing them for other people's enjoyment as well and occasionally she said some nice things about my videos so i like to say nice things about her videos so aline goes cycling she's uh at 899 subscribers so come on some of the people who subscribe to my channel why don't you subscribe to aline goes cycling and get her over that magic thousand mark because i think she deserves it the next channel I want to recommend is Step Away From The Screens. Now, I really like this guy. I think he lives on the Isle of Wight. Uh, most of his videos seem to be about camping and walking as opposed to cycling, which most of my other choices have been. Um, he's an ex-soldier. I think he's an ex-soldier. He may even be a current soldier. He swears like a trooper. If anything, he swears even more than I do. And uh, he takes the piss out of all kinds of cycling, but he also provides very interesting content, very good reviews and analysis of lots of uh, uh, camping, bikepacking, bivouacking, um, what do you call it, tarps, and stuff like that. So step away from the screens, don't follow his advice, subscribe to his channel and watch his stuff. I really enjoy it. And the last one that I want to recommend here is Badger's Bikepacking. Now, Badger does not make a lot of videos. In fact, I think you can see his last video was four months ago. So he takes a while to produce some content, but it is invariably interesting. It's often quite long, sometimes 40 minutes or 50 minutes. He does a lot of bike reviews. He's obviously got a lot of bike and a lot of kit. Does a lot of bike packing, does a lot of camping. So he does a lot of reviews of uh, tarps and hammocks and cooking equipment. A great style. He's always interesting to watch. Uh, he likes doing wild camping. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then I can recommend Badger's Bike Packing. As I say, he doesn't produce a lot of videos, but when he does, they're well worth watching. And as you can see, he's at, uh, what's he at? He's at 606 subscribers. So come on, guys, subscribe to Badger's Bike Packing and let's get him some more uh, subscribers and some more views. Actually, many of his videos, and you'll know this about YouTube, of course, it's not how many subscribers you've got, it's how many viewers you've got. And some of his videos have had a lot of views. They are very popular videos and I can highly recommend them. Badger's Bike Packing.
Now I'm also going to mention uh, a few channels which I do sometimes watch, but I'm beginning to tire of a little. Uh, I think it's only fair uh, to mention this. So you're probably familiar with these channels. Uh, Katie Kookaburra, is one, makes a lot of videos about cycling around Manchester and thereabouts, does a lot of travelling as well. Uh, Julia Elliott, who lives on the south coast and does a lot of gravel and bike packing stuff as well. Uh, Leonard Lee, who I think uh, lives in Hampshire and does a lot of cycling videos. Uh, Life is too short. Now actually they do uh, videos about camper vanning and travels and actually they nearly got into the first lot. They're well worth watching if you're interested in camper vans as I am or just uh, travelogues generally around Britain but I think they've also recently done some stuff in Europe. And the last, uh, the last two I want to mention, well actually the, the last one I'll mention in, in this sequence is Thomas Heaton. Now Thomas Heaton is a photographer, he's a really good photographer and he probably should have made it into the first list actually because he produces a lot of brilliant content. He is a very popular YouTuber and if you're familiar with the YouTube world you've probably heard of Thomas Heaton. And the last one I'll mention is good old GCN. Now I've got to be honest and say I don't often watch GCN. I quite enjoy them when I do but you know what I mean. Anyway, that's GCN, what can one say? Now the last person I want to mention is moi, i.e. Julian. And you're thinking, well, come on, Julian, what, what is this? The, the Desert Island Discs where Victoria Los Angeles chose eight of her own records? No. What I'm going to say is I know that my content is how can I put this? It, it's an acquired taste. And some people might live an awfully long time and not acquire the taste. I understand that, okay? Uh, sometimes I make too many videos. Sometimes my videos are too long. Sometimes the sound is shit. I often make jokes about Brexit and this uh, current useless government that we have, which many of you probably tire of. In fact, some people in the comments say they're tired of it, and I can understand that. So I'm not, um, I'm not immune. Uh, to criticism, and nor do I um, uh, deny or am unaware of my own faults, okay? My channel has some stuff that some people really like. It has some stuff that a lot of people hate. It's a bit marmite -y. I, I appreciate that. If you watch my stuff and you enjoy my stuff, then thanks very much. I do appreciate it. If you watch my stuff and you don't like it, Fair enough, I don't mind, it's a free country. And in the same way that I can comment on other people's YouTube channels, please feel free. And if, if Katie Cookbow or Julia Elliott or Leonard Lee or GCN or even Thomas Heaton want to say, Julian, your videos are shit, mate. You know, where do you get off on telling other people that their videos are shit? Now, I haven't said anybody's videos are shit, okay? I respect everybody's uh, attempts to be creative and to put something out there that is there to entertain the great YouTube audience. And that's all uh, we're trying to do. So thanks for watching and see you next time.